Hi, my name is Alton Sala Jr. from Riverbed Tech. In this video, we will be configuring QoS shaping, both inbound and outbound, for a steelhead running on Rios 9.x. On the right-hand side is our topology diagram. Our client, si our client side, our client machine is sitting here on the 10.1.21 subnet. Uh, this client network has an upload and download speed of 300 Mbps. Over here will be the data center steelhead or data center network in 10.1.31 subnet. This network will have 200 Mbps up and down speed. Our main goal is to prioritize HTTP traffic over other traffic. The first step is to configure a QoS profile. Click networking and then quality of service page. Steelhead already has a default QoS profile. We can use that. Uh, however, for this example, we will create a custom one. Scroll down. Under QoS profiles, we add one. We name it, let's say, my QoS profile and use a blank template. Edit. Then we create a QoS class. This will be a QoS class inside the QoS profile. Click on edit, add class. Let's say HTTP class. Say a minimum bandwidth of 90% to 100. New one. Say other traffic class. Minimum bandwidth of 10 class, and then save. Notice that uh, the minimum bandwidth for each class is a total of 100%. You can go below that. However, yeah, we cannot configure above 100% for minimum bandwidth. Next step is to create a QoS rule. Add a rule. Search for HTTP. Now, this will use the Steelhead BPI engine to identify the traffic as HTTP. We'll point it to QoS class that we configured, HTTP class, and then preserve the, the SCP. QoS rules are processed from top to bottom, so it'll, hit, it'll process this first. If it's not a match, it'll hit this catch all, any rule. We'll configure this as other traffic, QoS class, other traffic class. And we can choose either to preserve or, but at this point we don't uh, uh, we don't uh, consider the SCP marking. We fresh. See other traffic class now. Next is we configure sites in sites and network page, networking, and sites and networks. We'll configure the local site first. Now we need to configure its local subnet. Local subnet is the subnet uh, local to the steelhead. In this case, 10.1.21.0/24. Steelhead peers, uh, there's no need to configure. This is for path selection. For uplinks, we'll need to configure up and down speed. We don't need to configure this uh, gateway IP. This is also for path selection only. So as with what we discussed earlier, is 300 Mbps up and down for the client network. So put in KB. And then save. Next is we create a site, our data center site. Data center site subnets will be the 10.1.31.0 slash 24 network. And from here, we configure the QS profile that we created earlier. For inbound and outbound, we use my QS profile. Then we configure uplinks. Put in any name and specify the bandwidth, which is 200 Mbps. Let's 
So uh, when the stealer is doing QA shaping, if the remote destination, uh, if the remote IP is somewhere on the data center site subnet, it will use my QS profile. And if it's none of these uh, sites configured or site configured, it'll hit this default site, which will do the default QS profile. Going back to QS page to double check. My QS profile edit. If the steelhead will be doing a QS shaping between the local subnet and the remote site, which is in the data center site, and if it sees HTTP traffic, it'll hit this QS rule. And in turn, it will hit this HTTP class. And it will guarantee a minimum of 90% bandwidth. Uh, the next question will be 90% of what bandwidth? We can check the figure from here. We go back to the quality of service page. Scroll down to bottom. Expand QoS remote site information. And we see the values here. So for example, if this, this DLED is doing QoS shaping between the local subnet and the data center site subnet, it will use the bandwidth of 200 Mbps. So the way uh, the steelhead gets this value is, again, for example, for outbound, it will compare its own upload speed to the data center site's download speed and choose whichever one is uh, smaller. So in this case, 200 Mbps. Same goes for the inbound. Last step will be to, uh, to enable QoS shaping inbound and outbound globally. Here. And then save. Next is we test the QS. Let's generate the traffic, HTTP traffic going to that site. We're going to stream a video for continuous connection. If the connection is optimized, uh, there will be QS related information in current connections. Expand this. We see it here. We know that it hit the uh, HTTP class that we created at data center site. Another, another page where we could verify if it's working is on the QoS report page, inbound and outbound. For this example, we'll check outbound QoS here. Okay, there we go. So we have options uh, for units. We can either choose bits per second or packets per second. For this example, bits per second. And for show, right now it's showing all the total uh, total classes. If we want to get specific, uh, we can choose the drop down and choose selected class. For class one. We want to only show the HTTP class at data center site. Click update chart. And there we see it. Well, we know that uh, QoS shaping, outbound QoS is being enforced on this traffic. Thank you for watching this video.